treat your ears. Before we get too far in, I want to point out the work of YouTube reviewer LFA Reviews. This review is a spiritual successor to his series of truly wireless earbud videos. I honestly don't think I'd be coming back to review this kit if he hadn't been test driving numerous wireless solutions. So subscribe to his channel, watch his reviews, He's a good dude. I've had fairly terrible experiences with true wireless in the more affordable space. When these options first launched, I really liked Jabra, but those were pricey. Then I went through a slew of lower cost options that were fiddly, poor fitting, poor sound quality, but <laughs> they were cheap. Apple's AirPods didn't improve my opinion of true wireless, so I sat the market out for a while. But now it seems our options are getting a bit better. And when a brand like One More gets into this space, my ears perk up. One More is a brand building a rabid fan base by focusing on audio quality, even-handed tuning with some consumer-pleasing juicy color, and premium build quality at affordable prices. They've never been the techiest solution, but with the stylish, they're joining the wireless cutting edge. This is a formidable audio tech platform for $99.99. The stylish are rated for up to six and a half hours of playback per charge, though often these kinds of tiny battery products run a lot leaner, especially when you've got a lot of standby time. But the case holds three additional charges and 15 minutes in this case can deliver a couple hours of playback thanks to fast charging. Bluetooth 5 with APTX and AAC support covering your Android and iOS bases, solid noise canceling to improve your outgoing microphone, and new for a Bluetooth one more headset, the stylish do feature voice assistant support. These earbuds are on the pulse. We expect these kinds of features now, especially from a luxury technology convenience product. Maybe just lacking wireless charging in the case, but that's never included near this $100 price tier. Now, one more puts a lot of attention into fit and finish. These are inner aural earbuds. They go in the canal. And not only do you get different size tips, one more includes different sized wings to help them seat the stylish in place. Like the dual driver one more neckband, this is a terrific consideration, and these wings totally make the difference for me in daily use. I tend to prefer ear hooks for in ear monitors, but the one more wings help these pass that yawn test so they don't come popping out of my skull whenever I open my mouth. And I open my mouth a lot. The fit is comfortable, but these don't offer the best isolation. I get more environmental noise than a good snug pair of in-ear monitors, but they'll handily block more noise than open ear earbuds. One design gripe for the case, it's really disappointing to see micro USB. Most everything in our household has moved over to USB-C, including my one more neckband headset. But the main omission, the thing that bugs me the most on several truly wireless earbuds kits, no dedicated volume controls. You have to use your phone or you can use a voice assistant and that's fine for media playback. You know, you pause what you're listening to, launch the assistant, make your adjustment, then you push play again. It's a bigger pain on a phone call. You have to use the phone. If truly wireless is supposed to be more convenient, dedicated volume controls would be a huge help. Okay, all the tech stuff out of the way. Of course, most importantly, we want to know how these things sound. So we've got a medium sized titanium driver which is really well tuned to deliver some good low end rumble. I was not expecting such powerful bass from a seven millimeter driver, but it's punchy and full. Thankfully, that doesn't come at the expense of the mids where vocals and guitars are still able to cut through. In covering the full sonic range on one driver, it's the highs that seem to get a bit more rolled off. I could do with a bit more sparkle or air on jazz and classical, but it keeps aggressive pop tracks from getting shrill. Thankfully, this is a flexible setup with a punchy little driver that responds well to EQ adjustments. Now, one more has a companion app with advanced volume modeling and a five band EQ, but it only seems to work if you listen to your music through that app, which I wouldn't recommend. Playback is super basic. I used these primarily with a OnePlus M Pro, and it was a happy discovery to see EQ adjustments in the audio settings. I added just a touch of high end, and I was happy. Also, your buds are getting better at stereo separation. Still no competition for big, comfy, open back cans, but for little buds with mid-pack isolation, instruments are well positioned in space around you. So it's interesting, coming back to true wireless. I don't find these to be more convenient than other wireless buds or neckbands. It's handy being able to go with one ear, old school Bluetooth earpiece style, but keeping track of little buds and a charge case requires more attention than just draping a headset around your neck. And we get to borrow some tech benefits against other convenience and battery life management, which is a really long-winded way of saying these things are fun. 
and it's okay to have fun. A hundred bucks in the world of true wireless, it's tough to beat this sound quality and feature set. As more players are getting into the space, it's exciting to see an enthusiast brand put their spin on it. So I'll have some links down below where you can find more info on the one more stylish, truly wireless earbuds. Maybe shop these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing these videos, and subscribing. More than just picking some good earbuds, we want to try and make sure you're getting the right fit audio kit for you. If you'd like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links below this video, or you could consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen. A growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals and an incredible resource for my future videos and reviews. I hope you'll check it out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters, Instagrams, Facebooks, and the Twitch, and I will catch you all on the next review.